Hello, it's a great day for math. So in this uh, question, initially it's part of a paper 2 data analysis question, but usually they tag it to this part, part C, which is on probability actually. So based on the earlier numbers from part B and A, two students out of total 100 are going to be chosen. Okay. And implicitly, meaning without saying much, this is a question without replacement. Simply because I cannot choose the first student and have the same student chosen for the second time. So this is done without replacement. So find the probability that one student took less than or equals to 25 minutes. So this is a clue less than or equals to 25 minutes. So we're talking about all of these students in terms of a count. Second one, took more than 45 minutes. So 45 minutes is here and here, more than, so I will take 16, 12, and six, okay? So uh, each one gives us a total of, uh, this is uh, 10. This one is um, 34, okay? Now, you could draw a um, probability tree to help you imagine this, but by experience, if I wanted to choose one student who took less than or equal 25 minutes, and then a second student who is more than 45 minutes, it could be the 25 first, then the 45, or the 45 first, and then the 25. So there's two possible possibilities, should I say. So take it individually. Now in this particular instance, 25 minutes or less would be 10 out of the 100. Now for the second student, there are 34 out of the remaining 99. Or add, now pick the 45 minutes or more, or more, more than 45 minutes, sorry, 34 out of the original 100. And then a student who, took, who takes 25 minutes or less, which is 10 out of the remaining 99. Okay. So you could draw a tree and get these two uh, outcomes and figure that out. Or by experience, if you write it out like this, it also can uh, get you to the answer. So uh, keying all that in the calculator, we will get a final value of, oops, 34 over 495. We're done.